Okay, the National Security Analyst Arash Aramesh is in Los Angeles. Thanks for joining us this morning, Arash. Um, just take us through the significance of uh, Ramadi. Yeah, Ramadi is capital, is the provincial capital of the Al Ambar province, the largest province in Iraq. Um, not very uh, well populated, but it's the largest geographical, geographically, it's the largest province in Iraq. It's a very important Sunni. Uh, province uh, lies to the west of Iraq. So uh, Ramadi was sort of poised to fall. If uh, you remember not that long ago, about a year, year and a half ago, the city of Fallujah, about a few miles to the east of Ramadi fell. And if you look at the Euphrates, when the Euphrates enters Iraq from Syria, almost every single major city and township along the Euphrates in this Sunni, uh, sort of in this Sunni dominated neighborhood has fallen to ISIS with the exception of one city now, and that's the city of Haditha. So Ramadi has collapsed, has fallen. It's important for a couple of reasons. And you know, while this is bad news, it could get much worse. There is a very important air base to the east of the city, Habaniya, and there's a very important air base to the west of the city, Ain al-Assad, where US forces actually train Iraqi soldiers. So if ISIS tries to use Ramadi to launch uh, additional attacks in places near Ambar, or per perhaps use this to stage an offensive against Baghdad, things can get much worse for the Iraqi government. Okay, we were just talk listening there to the special advisor, uh, the governor, to the governor of Ambar province. He put so much emphasis on those airstrikes. He says they have helped, but clearly they weren't enough. What, what is going on with the Iraqi army? Air, the, the air campaign has helped, but you can drop uh, as many uh, laser-guided bombs and radar-guided bombs as you want on, on ISIS, but when they have better uh, ground troops, when they have the numbers, and when they're willing to fight, uh, they have the upper hand on the ground. I mean, the, the sort of the converse counterexample of that would be the Houthis in Yemen. The Saudis have been bombing the living daylight out of the uh, Houthis in Yemen, yet the Houthis still have the upper hand in that fight. So. In Iraq right now, ISIS and ISIS fighters are well equipped and are better fighters. Uh, they are willing to die for their cause and uh, they are willing to fight. Not only, now, also remember, this is not just ISIS leadership. A lot of Ba'athists, a lot of former Ba'ath Party officers and Ba'ath Party sympathizers, uh, sympathizers who were pretty good darn officers, have joined this fight on ISIS's behalf to unseat the Shiite-led government of Mr. Abadi and also to, uh, to, to pose a major challenge to the American-led sort of uh, or American-backed government, an Iranian-backed government in Baghdad. So that's the sort of Iraqi army Ba'ath Party and ISIS coalition that is waging this. Uh, the Iraqi army right now, the Iraqi army that you see that fled Mosul and now has fled, uh, has, has, has left uh, uh, Ramadi, is not much of an army to begin with. And if you see the cities that the Iraqi government has been able to take back, it's been with the help of Shiite militias, which is a problem, or with the help of Iranian generals and Iranian-backed Shiite militias again, which that itself is a problem. So the Iraqi army really has Arash. not performed well. Arash, just to jump in very quickly, just talking about getting Ramadi back, the U.S. has come straight out and said that they are going to help um, Iraq to win back Ramadi. This threat in Ramadi started on Friday. Isn't it a bit late for the U.S. to say this now? Couldn't they have put something in place to stop this happening? You know, I couldn't agree more. Uh, many cities have fallen, and again, with uh, with a, a, with allocate, allocating air assets alone, you're not going to prevent such major assaults or major victories for ISIS. Uh, remember a few years back when Ramadi and Fallujah were again on the news, who cleaned out the cities? It was U.S. Marines, well-trained, well-equipped, willing to fight, very well-trained U.S. Marines went to Ramadi, when they were in the uh, Sunni Triangle in the Al-Ambar province. So again, it's one thing to commit air assets, but it's another thing to have well-trained and well-equipped forces on the ground to do the fight. Without well-trained ground forces, with, this, with the current stage and the, with the current state of the Iraqi army, ISIS will have the upper hand on the ground, for sure. Arash Aramesh, speaking to us there from Los Angeles. Pleasure. Thank you.